I still remember when I made chocolate for the first time. I used to make it with cocoa butter, and the recipe always says dissolve sugar in the melted cocoa butter. But here's the problem: sugar does not dissolve in oil. And I don't know why you say that recipe. Why you ask me to do something that cannot be accomplished? As a result, the final product always has two layer, and the lower layer is always sweeter than the upper layer. Then one day I tried another recipe calling for lecithin, and it perfectly solved this problem. The question is, why? Let's find out with BAA. Hi, I'm Shao Chilo. Welcome to What People Also Ask. Where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of these plots, aka people also ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's keyword is lecithin, and specifically the chocolate making implementation of lecithin. So I think it's a good idea to talk about what is lecithin first. So what is lecithin? What many people don't know is that lecithin is not a specific compound, but a collective noun. According to the definition of lecithin in the book, lecithin source manufacturing and use published by the American Oil Chemist Society in 1989. Lecithin is a group of yellow-brownish fatty substances occurring in animal and plant tissues that are amphiphilic, which means they attract both water and fatty substances, and are both hydrophilic and lipophilic, and are used for smoothing food texture, emulsifying, and homogenizing liquid mixtures. Lecithins are mixtures of glycerol. Glycerol phospholipid, including a bunch of hard to pronounce stuff. I know most of you don't actually care about this, so let's move on to our next part. So, do you need lecithin to make chocolate? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled "Soy Lecithin in Chocolate: Why It Is So Controversial," published by the Chocolate Journalist, which appears to be a website of journalists who cover the news and trend in chocolate industry. According to this article, chocolate makers usually use lecithin to thin down their chocolate mixture and make it more walkable. And there. Zero five percent of lecithin can thin down the chocolate to the same degree as mixture added additional three percent or four percent additional cocoa butter. But this article does not answer my question regarding how lecithin helped me solve the layered chocolate problem. But I found two pieces of research can answer this question. A study published in the journal Food Hydrocolloid in 2005 observed the dispersion of sugar in oil solvent such as、uh, cocoa butter and soybean oils with and without emulsifiers such as lecithin, and found that emulsifiers can effectively reduce the volume of sediment. The study believes that this phenomenon is due to the fact that surfactants such as lecithin reduce the strength of attractive interaction between the sediment and sugar particles. This theory is supported by another study published in the journal Colloid and Surface in 2013. This study added powdered sugar to soybean oils and amphetamine oil and observed the mixtures using atomic force microscopy and find that lecithin indeed will reduce、uh, the adhesion between sugar particles dispersing oil. So after reading these two researches, I realized when you make chocolate, your goal is not to dissolve the sugar in cocoa butter because I promise you, you won't make it happen.、Um, your goal is to disperse the sugar as evenly in the mixture as possible and make it colloid. And surfactant like lecithin can definitely help here. Another study published in the journal Food Engineering in 2011 discovered another less known effect of lecithin on chocolate. It can speed up the cocoa butter crystallization process and result in a more homogeneous microstructures for its seeded chocolate. As to what is crystallization and seeding, I recommend watching another two videos by Kitchen Matter. I will put a link in the description. So, what if you don't want to use lecithin for some reason? Let's talk about our next part. Can pectin replace lecithin? Google's automatic generated answer is linked to a research titled "Okra Pectin as Lecithin Substitute in Chocolate," published in 2019. On journal Scientific African, according to this research, you probably can use okra pectin instead. In this research, they used different proportions of okra pectin in place of lecithin in milk chocolate making process, and found that all chocolate samples from the various formulations had similar sensory property as well as texture parameter, aka hardness, cohesiveness, adhesiveness, springiness, and chewiness, which suggests that it is possible to use okra pectin as emulsifier. To produce milk chocolate that is acceptable to customers. Okay, let's recap. Today we learned that what is lecithin and why you need lecithin in chocolate making process, and its scientific explanation. 
And you might be able to use Pactin in place of lecithin in milk chocolate making process. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal. I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some from PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA report that I compiled. So just do it right now. Bye-bye!